In the last video, we introduced the data streamer protocol as a way of graphing multiple variables or variables of more than eight bits. In this video, we create a basic driver functionality for the data streamer protocol. So we split the support out into visualize.c and .h. And we are all set to begin exploring multiple project configurations in the next video. So diving into the code example, here we have a start byte and an end byte of the data streamer protocol, and then we send three variables. So what this looks like on the data visualizer as we modify the value of the part is that, so space bar is stop and scroll back a bit. So here you can see that we have an eight bit value a ADC value, a 10-bit ADC value, and a count, which are being displayed. There's the 8-bit count and ADC, and you can see that here at the bottom we are displaying hex values. So what we'd like to do is create a separate driver for the visualizer-related functions. We'd like to split this up to its own visualize.c file. So new other c source file, visualize.c. And what we're going to do is split this out as a function data streamer, which is what we used here. So this function needs to take in the same variables that were configured in the data streamer wizard an 8 bit ADC, an 8 bit count, and a UN16 for the 10 bit ADC value. Now, because we're using functions from MCC generated files, our uart.c file contains the uart write function, for example. uart.c, so you can see in main the include is, is a generic one for all the MCC generated files. So let's add that to visualize.c and let's add a function definition. So we can just new other c header file visualize. And in the h file, we add a function definition for data streamer. Now in main, we'll just include, and it gives us the option visualize.h. So now we can add a call to that function. and check that it works. And yes, so we have the same functionality as before and our project has been successfully refactored. Now, if we'd like to switch between, say, a printf debugging and a data streamer, or if we'd like to remove this data streamer pro from protocol from our project, then what we're going to do is actually create separate project configurations. So that's what we're going to do in the next video.